You know, my wife, my dear wife went into identity crisis for about eight years. Why does eight years of her going into identity crisis warrant me to be anything less than who Christ created me to be and love her through that whole season and show her the truth? Where do I find the right to say, well, I got a lot of play on my plate. I got a lot of pressure in ministry. I got a lot of people. I sure don't need a wife now putting a demand on me. But it is. She won't even come to church now. She goes, oh, the last thing I need is a dead weight wife at this time. Just done and won't even grab the truth. And the man can only take so much. And Trey, you better pray for me because I can't make it much longer. <laughs> and then there's counselors out there called Christian that agree with that. Because their emotions are saying the same thing. But Jesus ain't agreeing with it. Love lays down its life. I love you says I love you. It doesn't say where have you been? And when do I get some love in here? And when are you going to pull your weight and do your part? Do you realize the pressure you're putting on me? Come on. You see why I preach this thing so bold? I've walked every inch of it with great privilege, not strain. Because the biggest bondage in your life is you thinking for you when you're made for his image. The biggest bondage in your life is self-centeredness. Because it skews your view and changes your mind. And all of a sudden, the the only party you can attend is the one that you feel sorry for yourself in. But it's the loneliest party you've ever been to. And the only people that go there with you are the people that understand how you feel. And you call that support. Yeah, support of the feeling. <laughs> I don't need you <laughs> to understand why I'm broken. I need you to ask me, why are you broken? Why are you letting where she's not decide where you are? How has Christ changed in you, sir? How are you any less anointed, any less called? And why has your destiny changed? Because one girl called your wife is going through a struggle in her identity. How has that had the power to change you? That's what I need somebody to ask me. <laughs> I had somebody asking me that, <laughs> you see? <laughs> Every time I opened his word, he's, he's talking to me like that. <laughs> Not because I was struggling, because I was searching for truth. And truth came and made me free. And once you see it, you're free indeed. So when that thing happened, I don't have options. I don't have multiple choice. I'm not on a broad road. Narrow is the way. Confined is the way. Watch. And few are those who find it. Sounds like few go through that door. They say, well, what about me? Well, how much longer? Well, they shouldn't have to. Well, how come I always have to? Well, what? If I'd have done that just one time, everything changes. If I'm a man with a problem, then I never see that my wife's in trouble. But if I see my wife's in trouble, I'm a man with an answer. Yeah. 